Hey all Turtle here coming at you with another Pokemon opening. Today we have the rest of our new products that got dropped recently. We got the Toxtricity box as well as three, these three Pokeballs. I actually had two of these but uh, my girlfriend had a family friend that had a birthday comment so I said she could give one of these boxes to him. So instead we're going to open all four of these and we'll just start by speeding things up and getting everything opened. All right, so let's talk about what's in these boxes. We'll start with the Toxtricity. So it is a new promo card. I believe this will be um, either this exact card or something very similar will be in Rebel Clash. And it does feel kind of underwhelming. I think by itself, it's nothing special. And it seems like the theme of, you know, the upcoming sets is like VMAX is where it's at and V is just a necessary stepping stone. So none of them are that great. Um, outside of like, obviously the Zacian and Morpeko is actually doing some stuff but uh for those pokeballs we do have a pretty cool lucario tin or coin and then the pack selection is all the same evolutions which is meh and then lost thunder which is nice and then burning shadows which i love for the toxicity two short and sealed cosmic eclipse and evolutions uh so kind of like overall my initial review is the toxicity nothing special you know maybe just a one of so you have the promo just for collector's purposes beyond that you know if you msrp for like 20 dollars i don't really think this is worth it for the pokeballs i think these are like 10 bucks and for three packs is not too bad i do like how you get burning shadows and lost thunder evolutions nothing special the pokeballs you know i don't actually don't think they're that good for decoration anymore can't really use it for much so the pokeball is kind of a nice you know cheap little gift uh the toxicity box not too crazy about it but all right let's get into some packs we have a bunch of evolutions then some lost thunder cosmic eclipse and wrap it up with some burning shadows and sword and shield let's get into our first pack so we have a total of 13 packs hopefully get some hits the last products we opened which were the the v boxes the v tins that was very disappointing we opened uh all three tins and only got one hit that was really rough so for our first pack we have a far-fetched is our reverse and then an electrode these tins they do kind of really cram in the pack so as you can see it's super bent and We've had plenty of struggles with Burning Shadows card quality, and that, that's probably where the best hits could be. So, that actually, let's just take a look. And so far, it doesn't seem like there's any damage. Uh, we guess we should really look at the back, and this is the rare slot, and it's fine. Okay, so even though they are really cramped in there, and the packs don't look great coming out of the Pokeballs, card quality seems to be fine, at least for these evolution packs. Our two more of these so far nothing too big but i mean that's okay we want something from cosmic eclipse or sword and shield for sure all right let's see sand true polywag diglet a super potion oh we do have something back here and it's what the <laughs> We, we pulled, this is the exact card that we pulled in our last opening, Mega Blastoise EX. We got the Mega Turtle again. Hopefully this opening does not go the exact same route where that was the only hit of the opening. So getting a little bit of a deja vu effect here. That would be very disappointing. All right, last evolution pack. We have a drowsy. Oh wow, a lot of super potions. And then a far fetch. We got two reverse far or super potions, a re reverse far fetch, and a regular far fetch. Kind of rough on the evolutionary side, but that's okay. We want the hits to come in these packs. All right, wait and see. Hammer, pretty cool card. I dislike the cards where you need to use it on turn one only. Poipo, we'll put this aside. Petrisu Hopip. Electivire is a reverse. That is a reverse rare. Okay. And then unknown with the hand ability. Was that 30, 35 cards in your hand? Yeah. Not sure how you pull that off, but I don't think I've ever seen it done. Our second Lost Thunder pack going in chronological order as always mix herbs was a pretty cool card for a while uh but then after a while like 90 damage for two cards that's not good enough 
think for a while I was using it primarily for Shaman actually could uh, is used in some kind of interesting Alolan Executor decks. But Mixer does have the ability to cure status effects as well. Oh gosh. Alright, so far it is... History is repeating itself. We got that Mega Turtle, and so far nothing else. We are getting a good amount of reverse rares. And then a Victini with VB down, Tony damage for each basic Pokemon in play. Alright, Cosmic Eclipse, then we'll go Burning Shadows and do Sword and Shield last. I feel like the Sword and Shield obviously has some good cards that you can hit, and you don't need to hit the... <laughs> it's not just like Rainbow Rare Charizard or Guzma or Bust. All right, this one does have the reverse slot, can also have some goodies with those character rares, which I still like. But it's just a Piplup, no, no, uh, what's her name, to go with it, Ursaring. All right, Burning Shadows, probably one of my favorite sets to open. Uh, between Burning Shadows and Hidden Fates, that would be tough. I guess Hidden Fates is more enjoyable because it's less... You know, lottery. Oh my gosh. So some of these cards are kind of roughed up. But the important one, which is this one, eh, there's a little bit of edging, but nothing too crazy. Wouldn't say it was because of the packaging or anything like that. But these ones, there's only like uh, two or three cards we're looking for. Yeah, this one does have a little bit more, but nothing as bad as those ETBs that we were opening up Burning Shadows. Oh man, that was so disappointing. Although, again, so these Pokeballs, they're not bad. I do like the pack selection, Lost Thunder plus Burning Shadows. I am fine with, even though the only, there's only one that's in standard rotation. I would kind of rate it above this Toxicity box. Toxicity. Oh boy, it's happening again, guys. All right, we still have this two sword and shield packs. Can we get something from this one, though? Grimer. Grabominable. And then a Turtonator. Oh, gosh. All right, this is our last two chances. Lapras, show me something good. Do like the new energy still? Quick Ball, nice. Ghastly, Rookity, Mudbray, oh boy, Peko. Oh gosh, it's gonna happen again. What are the chances that we open to like all this seal product and get only one hit in both the openings and it's the exact same card. This is terrible. All right, I'm gonna be very disappointed if there's nothing here. Rhyhorn! Oh my gosh! Wow! Seriously, what are the chances of that? This is the exact same card. So weird. Alright, that was pretty bad opening once again. Man, the new products, these new, uh, you know, not booster, like the main sets so far they've been really rough which is kind of disappointing because you know back when they did like the tag team teams i love those products i feel like they're really good the promo was awesome but so far this has just been pretty bad but uh don't worry guys as as always we're gonna keep at it uh either way thanks for watching thanks for all the support on the channel i'm wanna turtle and i'll catch you guys next time